Hello friends and fellow shavers and random passerby. It's Chris Gearnor on theshavingcadre.com. Um, this video is coming to you about a day late. It's not Monday, it is Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day this year, 2019. But uh, I decided to put off my normal Monday shave video in favor of today's video, which is actually going to be my 300th open blade shave which for me is a pretty big accomplishment. It seems like it took a long time to get here, and yet it didn't. I don't know, it just kind of happened. Well, it took a little over a year, but here we are. And um, yeah, so I've got a special shave lined up today. I'm going to be using my SV 70th soap, one of my favorites. I also, a long time ago, Happened to get a sample of SV70th aftershave. I've been saving it for something special, and I figure today is pretty darn special, so in terms of shaving anyway. So I'm going to be trying that out for the first time. Of course, for the shave today, um, my past shaves, I think my 100th and my 200th, I went with a uh, old school SR, uh, old school uh shave razor and um this time i decided you know i don't really use those anymore I actually have them kind of semi put away so i'll just stick with my feather i've been really favoring this um over traditional srs for quite a while now uh, just due to the ease of use and uh, ease of maintenance that it has so it's got a fresh feather pro blade so we might see some blood today <laughs> might not and of course, soaking in my little cup here, I've got my first anniversary TSC Badger brush hanging out. So uh, I'll wet my face and we'll get on with it. Some of you probably will have tuned in just to hear about my week. Uh, well, last week anyway. It's been a long week. And um, get my brush prepped here. Spent just about all of last week learning for the first time how to strip a floor and how to refinish it. And this particular floor we had was a booger because it had not been properly done in well over a decade. So, <clears throat> yeah. That was quite an experience. That left me pretty tired and then I had a bunch of yard work yesterday I loaded my soap here that I had to catch up on of almost a month worth of yard work in terms of edging and mowing and blowing stuff, debris and all that. Uh, because on the days I normally do it on the weekend, like a Sunday afternoon or something, it's been rainy the last couple of weeks. So that looks like a pretty good load. For those of you who enjoy uh, vegan soaps, SV 70th, or well, SV line has to probably be the best. Feels just like a tallow soap. Great skin food, all natural. We happen to be lucky enough that our very own Handle Barber Dave on the site is a ambassador for the brand, so he pretty much owns everything that they put out in terms of shaving. And SV used to be his favorite, 70th. And I think he switched to Qbebe, but I've only tried 70th. This is my first one. Tried it on his recommendations and was not disappointed. Anyway, that was pretty much a week. It was just busy. I'm still kind of beat up from it and all the yard work yesterday. I did remember to wear my mask. I have a little light breathing mask. So allergies weren't an issue, thankfully. Just kind of wanted to get my 300th on video today and 
since I normally have Mondays off, I had this extra day off as Tuesday, which is nice. That's feeling really good and slick. There we go. I'm going to try doing only open blade today. I like to do that on my special open blade shaves. Just kind of confirm my skill or maybe lack thereof if I'm not careful. That's definitely a sharp blade. I did mention I've been doing this for just over a year. It's probably been closer to a year and a half. Um, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before, around that time, I got my first straight razor um, kit with a poor man's strop from Whip Dog. Which, if you're just interested in starting out, is a good and fairly, comparatively, inexpensive option for getting going. Larry over there is a good guy. He did right by me, at least, and a number of other folks. And he usually comes pretty highly recommended. Uh, he's got... Um, A kit called A Sight Unseen, where basically he's got a bunch of uh, beat up vintage razors that are pretty user grade, they're not fancy or anything. But he sharpens them up, cleans them up just a little bit. It's kind of like a grab bag. And you just uh, pay for the kit. You can pay extra for a poor man's shop. It's like a uh, English bridal leather, I think. And you get a uh, pasted balsa strop with that. And that's pretty much all you need. Razor, strop, and a balsa strop. What the balsa strop is, is like a, it's got some paste on it. That help you keep the edge and it's a good learning set I think I got through about my first 50 open blade shaves with that set before picking up the feather and kind of starting to switch over It's been a good journey. I mean, anyone really interested or curious about it should just kind of jump in. I know it's a little it's a little scary at first because uh, it seems like there's a lot of potential to hurt yourself, and I mean. For me, at least, represented kind of like the pinnacle of shaving. And at that point, I had only been shaving the traditional way for like, I don't know, three or four years, something like that. And to have reached that kind of spot already where I was ready to try and tackle uh, straight razors seemed kind of daunting. Uh, I still felt, I mean, I was getting good DE shaves, but I still felt kind of new and I don't know, but I wouldn't change it. I learned a lot of stuff so far. I'm still learning and uh, because of straight razors and open blades, you learn how to make a much better lather than just general DE shaving or SE shaving. 
Um, you really have to know your products, or at least come to know them better. Uh, how to get the most out of your soaps and your shave routines. And because there's a lot of experimentation in those first, I'll stick to the regular number 100 shaves with an open blade. Just a lot of learning going on and you gotta try not to settle in any one routine or how you do something because Once you settle into that groove of, okay, this is how I make my strokes now, you kind of, it's hard to break out of that. And if you're not satisfied with your shaves, or you're wondering if there's something better, you're more hesitant once you're settled into that groove to try something new, I feel. That's why newer straight razor shavers, I always encourage that first hundred shaves or so to really experiment, try new things, do all the contortions, you know, with the stretching and all that kind of stuff. And just really explore the Explore the craft, if you want to call it, for all it's worth. But I am glad that I did get started with open blades. I think if I had just stuck to DE blades, I wouldn't have been as satisfied with my skill level, with my enjoyment. All right, that's past two. Hey, look at that, we're at 12 minutes, wow. Of course, past three is the, is the doozy. I didn't really start my against the grain passes and open blade shaving until um, much closer to that 100 shave mark. Um, just because it was so scary. Like the first couple, couple times I tried, I. Gave myself some decent damage, nothing serious, or just some, some pretty good nicks, and it just felt like it was impossible. But at some point, I just made the decision, just like I did to start shaving with a straight razor, that you just gotta do it. And you know, whatever happens, Stick with the result, and if you don't like the result, get better. That's really what kind of spurred me on. Got me that extra level of knowing that a full BBS is attainable with the straight razor. If you just put in the time, figure out the right angles, get the lather right.
But even above all those things, you just gotta enjoy the process. If you're not doing it to enjoy it, don't do it. There was an element where I was not enjoying like the cuts and all that that I'd get here and there. And that is super sharp. Nicked a couple follicles, that happens. Fresh feather blades are something to be afraid of and cautious about. They can do a lot of damage. Very easily. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> yeah, there was a lot of hesitancy, but I like to stick with things. I like to get them figured out. And eventually, I figured it out. All right, that was three passes, an hour. See, that took five minutes. Now we're getting sort of 20. What can I say? As you can see, I enjoy the process. It's not just get it done. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. Alright, I think that'll do it. Go through my post shave routine real quick and I'll warp it for you. I'll see you in a bit. There's that. I just finished off with a what I call my lather soak. I just take all the excess lather off my brush, especially something as good as SV or maybe CBL or even Arion and Evans, something like that. Uh, spread it all over my face, rub it in real good, get those uh, sebaceous glands 
Handle Barber Dave. <laughs> he talks about sebaceous glands a lot. Uh, we get those oils working, uh, re like hydrating, repairing the skin a little bit, giving it some moisture, and um, with all those goodies that are in the soap, uh, letting those things soak into my face. I cleaned off my gear um, and put on some alum. I went ahead for the full trifecta here. Alum, uh, witch hazel, just generic witch hazel, and then um, I got some Thayer's medicated that I put on. All right, now for the crown here, a little SV 70th aftershave. Hopefully it hasn't dried out after all this time. Let's see here. And we're good. Now Dave says just a couple drops. Oh. This again is all natural. Smells great. Nice and fresh. I think I'm going to go for some more. SV soaps are on the higher end of expense. But man, that just feels really good. Especially with all the other posts you did. All right, so that's that. 300 open blade shaves. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I just gave some musings, some ramblings there. Imagine that. Gear, nor and rambling. They go hand in hand. But, um... Hope you're off to a great week here. Um, I said it on the forums, but um, thank you so much for all the veterans and active duty out there and all the things you do. Um, I know the shave re really wasn't about that, but Memorial Day was just yesterday. And um, so thank you for um, sacrificing your time and talent and abilities. And uh, never forget those that have gone before us, sacrificed life. Uh, for our freedoms and to help us uh, hold the line for the freedoms that we have. And um, it's not something we think about often, unfortunately, and a lot of times we take it for granted, but uh, I'm glad that there's at least one day where um, we can bring those things to the front. Um, no matter what your views are politically or um, socially or religiously, um, we have to appreciate um, the people that have given up their lives uh, for us, really, and for this country. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the shave. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys, hopefully, at theshaveincadre.com. Have a great week. Bye.